Hey guys, what is up? This is Cody. Or X Code A. How's it going today? Hope everybody watching this video is having yourself a snazzy day. Let me know in the comments down below where you're watching the video from inside or outside the United States. I always love to know. Today's video, I have a story about one of the first times I ever made edibles and I ended up giving some to my dad without him knowing. This story takes place in 2012. I was a sophomore in high school. At this point in time, I was, I was just really getting into weed and I really wanted to try edibles, but I'd never tried any except one time previous. And I didn't really get that high, but the first time I ever had an edible, I was down at the rope swing from like a long time ago, like some of my OG story videos. And one of my friends brought down some, some frosting, like frosting you'd put on a cake. And he's like, dude, take a little bit. I took like the tiniest little bit thinking it was going to blast me off the Mars or something. I should have done more because he offered it to my other friend. This guy takes this gigantic fucking glob. It tasted really good, but it didn't really do anything. So I was really looking to try to find some edibles that got me baked as fuck or something. And the day finally came. One of my friends wanted to make weed peanut butter. Peanut butter being one of the greatest things on earth. Mixed with weed, it's on another level. I'm sure you never even thought about doing it. It's great. So I remember going halves on the peanut butter or about that. I think I put about a quarter ounce of bud. My friend matched me with another quarter ounce. We had some like shake or something that we tossed into. And I remember the whole time while we were making it in his kitchen, his mom was like trying to figure out what we were doing. We had to kind of hide what we were doing, but not really. So like, we were kind of just trying to be like quick about it. And by the end of it, like there was no hiding it. Like it just smelled so bad in the kitchen, like weed. Like you just can't hide it. Maybe maybe the, one of you guys in the comments can tell me a method of how to hide the smell while you're making edibles, but bruh. You got some brownies cooking up in the oven. The whole place is smelling like dank. So after waiting what felt like a couple hours, I think it was about two or three hours for everything to extract and maybe it might have even been longer than that. It felt like forever. It felt like I was walking through the desert looking for a glass of water. Like it's just time came to a standstill. And what made it even worse, there was a time limit. I had to go home because it was getting late. I think it was like a school night or my dad just wanted me to go home. So I had to. It was a race against time. The final countdown. Am I going to be able to get this weed peanut butter that I threw down on before I have to go? The time is running out. And with a miraculous buzzer beater finish, maybe, maybe seven minutes to spare. The peanut butter was finished. My friend put some in this little tiny Tupperware thing, just a couple globs of it. He definitely took more than what he gave me dick but it's okay it's all right he made it the bud was some mid too so let's let's be real here i was like 15 so i'm sitting there i got my little bin of peanut butter i'm looking at it i try a glob of it and it's amazing it's incredible just i mean peanut butter and weed like how, how else could i describe it that's 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 the the only way you could put it man it's fucking peanut butter and weed it almost tasted like peanut butter with an additional amount of butter if that makes any sense, plus weed, like a really good fucking weed taste. So I got my little Tupperware container, snapped the lid on, headed on to the rendezvous point, the LZ of where I got picked up. Me being like a sketchy 15 year old and I was, I was, we were probably smoking in the, in, <laughs> like waiting for the peanut butter to be made. I was probably all scared, like, oh my God, I have edibles in my backpack. Like imagine like worst case scenario, I get stopped by the cops, search my backpack. What is this? Uh, Peanut butter. Do you think they'd open it and like smell it? <laughs> if they just found a fucking Tupperware thing of peanut butter? Who the fuck would carry peanut butter like that anyways? But either way, I bet that I was worried <laughs> going to the pickup spot. So I get picked up by my dad and I go home. I go back in my room. I get the Tupperware out and I'm looking at it. I take a couple more, a couple more tastes. And then I get this bright idea. I'm like, listen, listen. It doesn't taste super strong like weed. You know, it's, it's, it was more peanut buttery. It wasn't like, well, the strongest edible I ever had was weed tincture. And my God, it was just the greatest flavor in my life. It was like blueberry muffins and weed, just bliss. But I had a cookie brownie one time that really tasted like weed. Like you could tell every bite that there was weed inside of it, like clearly. And some edibles, you can't really tell that much. And this peanut butter was more on the side of that. Plus it was probably some mid, let's be real. So it wasn't an explosion of terpenes with every bite. So I get this, I get the, you know, I'm scheming. I get this smart idea in my head. I'm like, I'm going to give some to my dad, but is he going to know? notice i don't want him to freak out let's just do it so i go out there my dad's on his computer playing this this facebook game it doesn't exist anymore but he was really into this facebook game he'd play it all the time 
I think it was called Mafia Wars, dude. That's what it was. And I'm sitting there and I'm not even that nervous. Like, I, you'd think I'd be nervous to do this, but I wasn't even that nervous. And I'm like, hey, dad, try this peanut butter I made in cooking class today. And he's just like, peanut butter? Is there drugs in it? He looks me right in the face. He's like, there's drugs in it, right? And I'm like, no, no, I, I wouldn't do that. No, try it out. And he's like, okay. And he takes like this little amount, this little tiny amount on his finger. And I'm like, no, no, try a little bit more. It's really good. I made it in cooking class. Come on. So he takes this big ass glob eats it that's when i get scared i'm like is he gonna know is he gonna taste it he's sitting there and he's just like tastes like peanut butter nice okay you made that this is homemade and i'm like yeah yeah and it was like some skippy peanut butter or something <laughs> like it was it wasn't fucking it wasn't it, like we ground up peanuts or something and made like a homemade peanut butter we just added weed to an already made peanut butter He's like, yeah, like he probably acted like it was like super good or something so i run off to my room and i sit there and i wait I hop on i get on Xbox 360, playing Halo Reach or something, Halo 3, the good old days. Cue the never forget Halo 3 original soundtrack. So I'm probably sitting in my room feeling feeling pretty good off the peanut butter, probably still stoned from smoking weed at my friend's house because weed would last an eternity for me back then. And I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for my dad to like come back into the room, be like, did you put something in the peanut butter? Why do I feel high? Why, you know, something like that. I'm just waiting. Probably an hour goes by and I, I forgot about it. I, I, I figured the amount he did, he wouldn't feel anything. And now keep in mind, I told you guys that my dad was really into this Facebook game, Mafia Wars. He, he would play it like when he gets into games, he'll play until midnight one two sometimes even three in the morning he gets real carried away with games i think we all do all right listen i remember at this point in time he was really into the game so he was like always he was always on till at least midnight and i'm sitting there playing xbox with my friends having a great time i hear a knock on my door he opens the door and he's just like ah, i don't know why i'm so tired tonight cody but you know i'm going to sleep all right his eyes looking like mine right now i've never seen my dad eye before so I'm shocked. I'm sitting there like, oh shit. I'm like, all right, dad, good night. Kind of like trying not to laugh. I told my, I told my friends about it and they're like, oh, what do he say? What do he say? You know, I closed the door and I waited like two minutes just to make sure that, you know, he wouldn't be able to hear me. I tell my friends about it. They're cracking up. I put my dad out of commission with that peanut butter. Now I'm sure you're wondering, okay? I'm sure you're wondering if there's any more stories of smoking with my dad getting baked with my dad. The closest I've come to smoking with my dad would have to be where he had some like friends over, which he never does. This is like a literally the only time it ever happened. He had some friends over and they were smoking in the other room. And I walked in after they were done smoking and took a hit. So like he was a little stony baloney, but like I didn't see him smoke. All right. So yeah, he's seen me smoke a bunch of times. I'm sure he's seen my videos and stuff, but yeah. If this video hits 30,000 likes, whoa, that's too much. I know it's too much to ask. I might try to convince my dad to make a smoking video. I might, I might, I might. Listen, I'll try to figure something out. Okay, listen. Huge thank you to everybody supporting me on Patreon. For a dollar or two a month, you can support the channel and get access to the secret unlisted videos that I've been making over on Patreon. I'll put a list of all the names on screen right now. Huge thank you for your support. It really helps me out. Link in the description for more information. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any funny edible stories. I have one more edible story that I have uploaded right now. Check it out right there. Okay, it's at the it's, it's up there. I, I'm pretty sure that's the right side. I hope I'm pointing to the right corner. It's right there. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for more with the notifications on. Stay high, stay lifted, stay snazzy. Follow my cat on Instagram. Peace.